Okay, so today I came out to uh, do some work under my hood, but unfortunately my hood latch wasn't opening all the way. It was fine on the inside. It's con it's more or less connected here, but I probably have to do some work here too. I think it may have slipped off the plastic retaining uh, device. So what happened was like I just I was pulling on it it wouldn't unlatch um, so you have uh, two latches here you got this one here on the driver's side which is pretty rusty I need to get some grease on here for sure because the more rusted it is and uh, as you can see it's really dry so it takes a lot of force to open it and uh, this is the driver's side also pretty dry and crapped out uh, so what I did was like the uh, from the passenger uh, from the driver's side when I was pulling on the latch opener this side opened but the driver's side wouldn't open um, so what I did so I was lucky because the there's a lot of obstructions uh, from underneath is where you have to go you have to jack up jack up the vehicle put it on jack stands I put it on two jack stands at the front I went underneath and I uh, basically what I did is I take this hammer and I have these uh, long pry bars but I use the longest one I have which is uh, which is this fella I, I don't know what the size is but it's pretty it's the longest one I had in the kit and uh, if you can see up there you can see the latch from the bottom so this is for the driver's side the passenger the, sorry this is the passenger side the driver's side is the same way but there's a lot more obstruction like if you can see you can't even really see it from here you have to go all the way over here somewhere in order to see it but you can practice on the driver's side so once this thing closes what you want uh, if like if and it's not opening once it's closed and it's not opening what you want to do you want to take this uh, pry bar you want to place it right here where the uh, the, the space right here you want to put it right here and then either with the palm of your hand, if that works, you, know, you just smack it a couple of times and hopefully it'll unlatch. Uh, for me it didn't though, I had to use a, I had to use a hammer on the bottom of, on the back side of this pry bar and I maybe hit it two, three times and it unlatched. But yeah, after this, you want to grease it up and, you know, have it nice and oiled up. So it doesn't screw up again and not unlatch for you. So yeah, basically that's what I did. And uh, I mean, if both sides of your vehicle, they're not, the both of the hood latches are not opening, then what you did on this passenger side, you have to do on the driver's side, but that was a bit more of a pain in the ass. Uh, luckily I didn't have to do that but you have to basically go under here and you know work your way around the this intercooler piping and the um, what's this guy called this coolant piping and the, it's it's up there somewhere and then you just gotta do basically what I showed you right here on this latch you gotta do it on that latch over there either strike it with the palm of your hand on the back of the uh, pry bar or you know use a hammer one or two not hard hits but some decent you know f decent force and uh, it should just pop open and yeah it's pretty dry I didn't know this was a problem on the minis I just found out so I gotta get this cleaned up a bit and then 
greased up and the same thing on this side if you go on North American motoring forums uh, there's a few uh, there's a few uh, posts on it but there's also another issue it could be that the there's a retaining uh, plastic retainer here that uh, screws up and and there's like a bracket metal really thin metal bracket that can also bend if you go on those forums uh, you'll uh, you'll know what I'm talking about and you can get some help all right hope this helps people